everybody, today I'm at Toes on the Nose in Huntington Beach, renownedly known as Surf City USA, where I get to learn what it's like to be a surf instructor for the day. Surf's up. This is my surf instructor, Charlos, from Toes on the Nose. So tell me, how long have you been teaching surf lessons? I've been teaching surf lessons here at Toes on the Nose for, I want to say like eight years. What is the most challenging part about teaching somebody how to surf? Uh, you know, making sure that they're you know, staying in a good attitude, uh, sticking with it. Uh, a lot of people get kind of depressed if they can't stand up in the first five minutes. But uh, it's trying to just keep people with a good attitude. And, and it, even beginners can try? You don't have to have any experience? Uh, the only experience you need to have is you need to, go, you need to know how to swim. Alright, so you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Nervous? Um, no, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, so go ahead and lay down on your board. Lay down on the board. Yeah, belly down, you want your toes touching the tail. And then you want to scoot all the way back. You want the center of the board to go down the middle of your body. All right? Is Finding that, that for balance? That's for balance, yeah. So, center of body, your legs are together. You're going to paddle, just like a freestyle swim. One, two, one, two. So we're paddling for a wave, big, big wave. And then you're going to do the pop-up. You're going to put your hands right next to your chest. You're going to push up, back to your knees. You're gonna pivot on that knee, bringing your front foot forward. Okay? Paddle, paddle, paddle! Hands right next to your chest. Push yep. up. That's the most important right part right there, is get that front foot forward. Okay. I don't think I'm quite ready to be a surf instructor, but man, that was fun. I'm on top of the world! We're nestled between Laguna Beach and Laguna Hill at Aliso Wood and Wood Canyon Wilderness Park. A 4,000 acre reminder of what undeveloped Orange County looked like a century ago. I'm with Diane from the Laguna Beach Visitors and Conference Center and she's nice enough to join me here and share exactly where we are. The view is spectacular. Can you point out what we're looking at? Yes, out to the south is uh, San Clemente Island, and right out in front of us is Catalina Island, and to the north is Palos Verdes. This is a gorgeous place to hike, but what else is there to do if you come up here? There's uh, Alta Laguna Park is also up here that is a great family area. There's a playground for the children. There's tennis courts. You have picnic tables where you can have your family picnic after you've gone on your long hike. Uh, there's water areas for you and restrooms. So you have all the amenities you may need for the, for the day. There's actually 30 miles of trails within our hills here that uh, they can use. So it's, it's uh, just a wonderful wilderness park.